Hello, everyone. All right. So let's start. So many, so many participants. Uh, thank you all for joining this webinar. I'm Olivier. I'm Nowtech Managing Director. For those who are less familiar with us, we are leading providers of video collaboration solutions for organizations since 2004. And Zoom partners in Israel since 2015. We also offer industry leaning hardware solution for hybrid workspace. We have a webinar tradition at Nowtech. As part of this new tradition, we present new feature and products alongside our Zoomed colleagues. Our next one is after the holiday, so stay tuned. So let's go through housekeeping quickly. As you can see, this is a webinar. It means that we can see and hear me, but I can't see you and hear you. There is a Q&A option on the toolbar. Use it for general Zoom question. We will do our best to answer as many questions as possible by the end of the session. You will find the live transcript button on the toolbar as well. So use it for show subtitles, the first option, for Hebrew subtitles. This webinar is recorded, so feel free to pass the video on to colleagues and friends. We will send the recording. Now, let's dive right in. Hello, Stratos, our guest. I'm Hello. glad to have you here. Good morning, and thank you for having me here. Thank you very much, Rados. Here is our agenda. We will go through the 10 benefits of Zoom chat. We will discuss the workspace reservation. We will do a moderate dive on Zoom room capabilities, a moderate dive on Zoom IQ. We will let you know a little more about Nowtech Zoom 360. And then we'll go over question Q&A. Zoom is much more than Zoom meetings. It's an entire ecosystem that covers sales, customer service, telephony, meeting room-based software solution, and the list goes on and on. All tools in the platforms are integrated and in sync with each other which saves time and energy. In this webinar, we will focus on Zoom Chat, Zoom Room, a software-based room system that facilitates a hybrid workflow, and Zoom IQ, a tool that was made to empower a sales team by multiple conversational intelligence abilities, insights, and analytics. Let's see some of Zoom chat features. Zoom chat allows you to connect your teams and streamlines communication with instant messages integrated in the Zoom platform. It was made to fit a business workflow with multiple useful features. Like always, the leads keep expanding on a regular basis. The best practice is to check for updates from time to time. Instant meetings and calls. You will find the video camera and phone icons on the top left corner of every chat conversation. It's super easy. Desktop client ecosystem. Like I said earlier, Zoom is an entire ecosystem made for seamless workflow. You will find everything you need in the Zoom desktop client, your base camp, if you will. Your calendar is just a click away, as well as Zoom whiteboard, a virtual canvas. You can use before and during meetings with your team, made for sketches, sticky notes, task management, and brainstorming in general, and keeps on 
editing after the end of the meeting. Built-in screen captures are very intuitive. You can capture a screenshot, add doodles and marking, and easily send them to your team. Notify me when available. Like you see in the picture, you can simply choose a team member. And when they become available, you'll get a notification on your screen. Editing sent messages is super intuitive as well. No need to delete and rewrite. Plus, you'll be able to, to style your text, use bold different colors for your message and more. Mio chat interoperability. Each organization has its own go-to platform. If it's Zoom, WebEx, Teams, Slack, and there is no alignment when a Zoom-based organization wants to chat with the team-based organization, for example. Mio solves that situation. Zoom chat interoperability with Mio is the tool that helps you connect your chat tools across different platforms. Availability option. You can also set up a timer and mark, do not disturb us in advance. You can create folders, including one for yourself alone that can be used for note-taking. That's one of the, my, that's one of my favorite. I'm taking all my notes with Zoom chat. Zoom state-of-the-art security applies for Zoom chat as well as part of the entire, entire ecosystem, right for the moment you sign in. Box and Microsoft SharePoint integration. Box and Microsoft SharePoint can be integrated in the Zoom chat made for a complete workflow for file sharing. Your colleagues can have access to the most relevant versions of your file. Zoom chat offers dozens of features. It's an entire collaboration hub made for everyday use, built to empower other Zoom tools. These days, many hybrid organizations found out there is no point in maintaining assigned seats and workspaces that stay empty when only part of the teams show up at the office. So they do hot desking. It means that seating arrangements are much more flexible than before. Zoom workspace reservation help you make more out of our desking. It's fully customized. It covers the entire organization and create a seamless workflow. This addition to Zoom platform is an intuitive, reliable way to reserve your favorite office room or workspace in advance or real time, directly from an interactive map. See who else is planning to come and get seating recommendation based on your preferences. If you place a Zoom touchscreen device at the reception, we'll talk about it at the end of this webinar. Employees will be able to choose their favorite workspace and check in with a QR code. Workspace reservation is built on one of Zoom key products, Zoom Room. Zoom Room is a cloud-based software defined video conference solution that perfectly fits your room requirements for frictionless daily use. Its core value is allowing teams to work together, no matter where they are. You probably ask yourself, what can't, why can't we use Zoom meetings for Zoom Room? With Zoom Room, you can start meeting at the touch of a button, share content on your screen, hot, ad hoc hybrid meetings, and manage the entire workspace. It's a super easy and no messy cable are needed. So we have Stratos with us, who is going to do a moderate dive and introduce Zoom Room with the major Zoom, Room, Zoom products. Stratos, take it away.
<laughs> Thank you very much, Olivia. And yeah, as well, a, a good uh, again, a good morning, everyone, and thank you for having me uh, here. So you actually pointed out very well, uh, Olivier, already. Uh, what is a Zoom Room? Zoom Room is the is the software uh, that uh, Zoom has put together to create better meeting spaces, uh, and overall, at the end, achieve you know the goal of uh, having better meetings. Um, <clears throat> but I'd like to take a moment now and talk a little bit about the modern workspace, right? Uh, we are today in, in the situation where uh, people are coming more often back to the office and they want to work in, the, in their own space. They want to collaborate again with people. Uh, they want to be able to feel confident that this is you know, the right space, that they have everything that they need. At the same time, make sure that they are not using for example, that they are not exposing themselves into, uh, for example, uh, possibly you know other sick um, uh, employees and so on and so forth, uh, or it's not an overcrowded space. This is exactly the moment where you need to create the right type of rooms, of uh, meeting rooms, for the people to start getting back together and be able to really work uh, together. Uh, when Zoom Room was put together, it was. Uh, it was meant to drive three of the big, uh, three of the biggest frustrations that people have when uh, they are trying to meet. The first one is to easily, um, to easily book a room, to easily find a room, and you know without any big hassle, uh, to able as well to share content without any problem, and to be able to collaborate no matter where everybody is. This is exactly where the Zoom room is coming now. And it doesn't matter if somebody has uh, come completely back to the office or if they want to be able to work in a hybrid workplace, uh, workspace, or they want to be fully remote working from home. Zoom Room is the perfect situation, the perfect solution to really enable the employee to work either they are home, hybrid, or remotely. Um, as you mentioned, it is a software-based conference room solution, and it offers three very major uh, benefits to the, to, to the users. First of all, it enhances the productivity within the rooms. Uh, you can start the meetings with just one touch. You can share content, like you said, wirelessly, and everything is over there on a high-definition audio and video. This is the same technology that we use, for example, with uh, the meetings and the webinar, which people know and, and, and enjoy. And it gives everybody the same feeling that everybody's in the same room. Um, what it is actually even better uh, with uh, Zoom Room, you just need one touch to really to meet or to reserve the room. Uh, actually, you know that you can have these small, um, uh, uh, your tablets in the beginning of the room to just go inside and reserve the room with just one touch. It's really very, very easy and very intuitive. Um, what is even better what the, is for the IT management. The IT management, they have a very centralized uh, room management option. And what that is, does, it gives them the possibility to monitor, to analyze and to manage all of the conference room from one single admin portal. This really solves the problem for a lot of IT teams when they're trying to figure out how it's every room is used, what is the best way you know, to use a room, and so on and so forth. And of course, what is very familiar to everything that the Zoom is doing is that you can set up any room with ease. There is, it's very, very easy to really set up any room, whether it is at home um, or, at the, or at the office. Uh, you can easily create the perfect Zoom room for you. Of course, the only thing you need to take care of is that you have the right hardware. And of course, this is something that we can uh, talk about a little bit later. Um, the, there is uh, the, the, the setup to bring something into the Zoom platform is very, very easy and very intuitive. Um, so as we said, Zoom Rooms is a software-based room system that leverages hardware appliances or kits and customizable components to create an easy to use and familiar Zoom experience. 
for for the end users uh, zoom room makes it easy as we said to book the rooms to start the meetings to set the content for the it teams the zoom rooms is part of a single collaboration stack uh, that's simple to purchase to deploy and to manage and of course at the same time we ensure to bring the user adoption and the IT uh, success for which it was originally purchased. Uh, a very good question that we get a lot of times is, okay, but what kind of rooms, you know, would you use the Zoom room for? The, the list that you, we have over here is just an example of the available rooms that you, you should really be focusing on. And they, it's not only this one that we can do way much more capabilities. Uh, but for example, some of the uses that you have for the Zoom rooms is the executive offices and the focus rooms. Uh, you can easily start it within meetings, uh, within seconds of the meetings. We have calendar integration and you can create it with a single screen or you can create it with a high-end audio and video. You can create huddle rooms, and this is usually the, the most common uh, use for the, uh, for the Zoom rooms, because this is where the teams are coming together, uh, like members you know, of a team, like three to five or seven people, and start immediately sharing content uh, and sharing screen, um, sharing the screen, for, uh, the content on the screen. You can create board and conference rooms, and you can over there, you can use, for example, the capabilities that for focusing on the active speakers, uh, you can create, uh, you can set it up with your own uh, hardware, uh, audio and video hardware. It's the, and you can create it with a very high end or with simple starter kits. One of the uses that I personally like quite a lot is the training rooms because over there you can create, you can have a really big room with a lot of um, participants and you can have up to three screens and you can have multiple microphones and multiple cameras and you can create the perfect experience for everyone in the room. And of course, because as we said, it's using, we're using the same technology as we did with the meetings for the uh, background noise suppression, you can even use it in open spaces. And that makes it as well very easy for anybody to, um, to use it wherever the, the location is. We have as well other uses. Again, there is a big you know, list of different uh, use cases that you can actually uh, leverage the Zoom rooms uh, for. So we will be happy you know, if, you, if you want to discuss it uh, furthermore. Now, I wanted to ask you actually, uh, uh, Olivia, over here, you have been working with uh, Zoom Room for quite a long time. Uh, one question I want to ask you, what is for you the most common use that you're, set, you're creating the Zoom Rooms for? Wow, this is a uh, question, but I think that the um, thing that Zoom uh, will really help us is that, uh, you know, it's makes the, uh, the use of the room very intuitive uh, in, uh, in the way that we, uh, that we can um, physically build the room first. First, we can uh, uh, use the room uh, in, um, in, 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 um, in a dedicated hardware. So basically, we can, uh, you know, we can build it before it took a huge uh, uh, amount to do a very heavy audio video room for a large room. Now with Zoom room, we can simplify it, all the things. And um, so we can have for large and small rooms, the, uh, you know, the, the, the appropriate hardware and still use the same UI. Yeah. So basically, when you move from a small room to a large room, you still have the same UI, and this is yeah. what I find the, uh, the, uh, the the most you know very interesting aspect of of of, of the room. Perfect, perfect. Um, I agree with you. Uh, the the software is what really makes uh, the hardware work, right? So when the software is flexible enough, you can create all types of different uh, situations where the actual experience uh, meets the, the requirements of the customer. Um, now, one of the things that you know, a lot of people are asking is, okay, but what do I need in order to be able to set up my own uh, Zoom room? 
uh, you don't need a lot of things you know you just need you can take you can start with the self uh, all in one kit you know, you know that you can get it off the shelf or you can go to really high end solutions with uh, audio video uh, uh, hardware but what you really need in order to start immediately with a zoom room are five core components the first one is a computer whether it is a pc a mac or a chromebook the second one of course is a display you definitely need to have a monitor in order to uh, to, to use you know the to share uh, content etc then of course you need a controller and the controller is uh, can be a tablet you know an ipad uh, anything that you can use in order to be able to integrate with the zoom uh, room uh, software and of course you need a camera uh, for the for the video and uh, a speaker and a microphone for the uh, uh, for the audio this is really all you need it's just a, a small uh, requirement that you can get it with all in one kit uh, off the shelf or of course you can create a um, high end solution with um, a lot of cameras and a lot of uh, microphones and so on and so forth so just to bring everything back together uh, these are some of the uh, capabilities that you can uh, you need in, you can have in order uh, with uh, with the zoom room so you can have like i said multiple cameras for custom use cases and training and classrooms one of my <laughs> favorite uh, uses or you can have a triple display if you have a big meetings for big executive rooms or you can use as well the zoom rooms appliances to deploy and manage all the rooms at scale so really really a lot of uh, options a lot of capabilities really depends down on the type of the use case you want to have in its in at its time and um, there is going to be um in in our presentation we're going to share with uh, with everyone later there is uh, also a little video that explains as well uh, all of these uh, capabilities it's about one minute and uh, one minute and a half so it's really nice and interesting and i would highly recommend for attendees to to watch it at the end of the uh, of the webinar um that's what i wanted pretty much to talk about around uh, the zoom room what i'd like as well now to start talking about is um, uh, zoom iq for sales and uh, the zoom iq for sales is really uh, let's start a little bit about explaining what zoom iq for sales is it's a sales conversational intelligence add-on solution or for zoom meetings and zoom phone and what it does it turns conversations into actionable insights it's powered by artificial intelligence and it goes through recorded into the cloud conversations and analyzes the way the participants interact with each other now let me take a step uh, back and say uh, let and explain a little bit more about it where does the need for zoom iq for sales comes from right uh, especially since now again meeting meeting in person uh, is back to our life right after the pandemic here's the thing uh, meeting someone in person we communicate with them in more ways than just verbally uh, we use the tone of our voice uh, our facial expressions our body language and the physical of course uh, environment around us uh, what we use as actual words uh, is the probably the least amount of the information in our communication and this is where zoom iq for sales comes in in the virtual business environment where most of the b2b uh, sales teams operate these non-verbal communication cues are removed zoom iq for sales uh, powered because it's powered by and uh, at the artificial intelligence it really helps managers trainers and individuals alike to analyze and improve the way we communicate. So we've seen that there is a growing demand for conversation insights. Uh, as virtual operations are here to stay, uh, more and more chief sales officers are already investing or considering to invest in artificial analytics uh, technologies for their sales teams. And Gartner, one of the biggest uh, uh, research houses in the world uh, they have already predicted 
that 65% uh, of the B2B sales organizations will transition from intuition-based to data-driven decision-making by 2026. And the same thing they say, but 70% uh, of the B2B seller buyer interactions will be recorded in order to be able to extract out of there the competitive, the deal and the marketing insights. And this is probably gonna happen even earlier by 2025. So we see that there is a continuous need and increasing need for more intelligence, for more insights in the conversations our sales operations have with their customers. And so as we said, Zoom IQ for sales, is a really it's a sales conversational intelligence add-on solution for Zoom meetings and Zoom phone that turns conversations into insights to improve performance, deliver customer better customer experience, and streamline the deal closing process. Who's going to benefit out of that? As we said, it's first of all, it's the sales managers because it really gives them, uh, it really provides them with actionable feedback and like, a better forecast uh, for the for the sales teams. But it's also the sellers, the individuals, because they can improve the way they communicate. There is, they can see where they are using, for example, where they have a better engagement process with the customer, where they have a better sentiment from them, and so on and so forth. And of course, it's the marketing and the enablement because they can build on a, on a successful seller for the rest of the team to learn from. So this is actually a really nice way and a very intelligent and data-driven way to uh, replicate success stories from one seller to the other. And what I have over here is just a quick example, uh, just a small view of the, of the IQ for sales, how it looks when, um, when it starts doing the analysis. And you can see over here, this is, a, this is a meeting that has already taken place. Uh, it has been recorded into the cloud. And then afterwards, the AI goes through the conversation and identifies different cues from the conversation that took place. Some of the things that we see over here, for example, is the talk percentage. So the talk percentage is how much talking instead of listening was done during uh, the overall uh, meeting for example, from the, from the seller. Or you can see, for example, what the engagement score is. This is you know, a measure of how engaged the customer is. Uh, and again, this is uh, based on the talk time, talk time radio and the response time lag and the number of speaker changes. And the other thing that you also can see over here is the sentiment. And the sentiment score is a measure of the positive and the negative speech in the meeting. So it really goes into the analysis. It really goes into understanding you know, how the people, people communicate and interact with each other. And of course, what I wanted as well to mention over here is that at the moment, at the moment, the Zoom IQ for sales is available only for the English language. Uh, there is a roadmap, of course, and uh, in the roadmap, we will start bringing more and more uh, languages. Uh, but this one is something you know, we'll see in, in the short future. Now, I don't have the exact, obviously, timelines, but for any organization that is really looking to have uh, the analysis for their, uh, for their sales in English, this is a really a great tool to, to support the teams to, be, to drive better engagement and better meeting experience with the customers. And I think that's pretty much from my side uh, for today, Olivia. Yeah, great, Stratos. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Definitely the uh, Zoom IQ uh, show how much uh, Zoom is innovative, is inno innovate, innovative and uh, going forward with, uh, you know, with the platform and, uh, and so much um, with, uh, you know, looking at a uh, new way of working. And uh, it, is, it's, it is delighting to see that uh, every, uh, every man, every other man, there is something new and a new feature. And sometimes like uh, Zoom IQ is a new brand, a completely new uh, kind of, uh, of, uh, of a, you know, of, um, 
of product and yeah. uh, and it's just to bring this puzzle of the collaboration more and more relevant for all for organization and uh, definitely uh, uh, invite all uh, everyone to uh, to look at all these technology to experience them to try to implement them they it will help them to take their business uh, forward um so we are close to uh, to our end. We have one more piece uh, to cover, and it's about uh, Nautec uh, Zoom 360, and it's about you know really um, um, a new service that we found out that uh, all this um, Zoom as a platform is getting more and more, as you see with Zoom Room, Zoom IQ, and uh, from our experience, collaboration is all about uh, finding the right combination uh, between software, hardware, and support. And uh, our goal at Nowtech is to be a one-stop shop that offers all three for a full collaboration solution. Nowtech Zoom 360 offers a comprehensive Zoom platform-based solution. It's based on leasing which means a steady and pretty predictable fee. It was built to give you peace of mind thanks to Nowtech flagship hardware solution and our state-of-the-art support that you'll find nowhere else. It means that we've got you covered in every sense of the word. The solution comes with a special offer, which makes it a no-brainer for every organization. They can also be used as a virtual receptionist or for workspace reservation, the tools that I presented earlier. There is a solution for small rooms, medium-sized rooms, and large rooms. If you, if you want to find out more, feel free to reach out. Um, <clears throat> now we are getting to the, um, to the end of the, uh, of the webinar on time and um, we would like to take a few questions. And uh, so we have a few questions from, uh, from, um, from our attendees. And um, Stratos, um, we, Moshe is asking us, does Zoom Room require a different licensing program in addition to Zoom meeting? I think you can, you can answer this one. Oh. Uh, that's a very good question. Thanks, uh, Oliver. Uh, well, yes, uh, you need to have a different uh, licenses for uh, and you know different agreements for for the Zoom room in comparison to Zoom uh, meetings. So yes, these are not uh, in the same uh, <laughs> packets. <laughs> okay, great. Um, Leo is asking us. Wow, that's a that's a good one. Can Zoom chat replaces Slack. And I say, yes, of course it does. And uh, we are using uh, Zoom chat for, you know, from day one, I want to say, and uh, we are using for organization, large enterprise and Zoom and use it, of course, for themselves. And uh, it has a lot of features. It answer all business needs. And it's, uh, it's in the package, you know, you even don't have to pay for it. So I really recommend uh, user uh, enterprise organization of any size to try to discover this, uh, these great tools. Uh, all right, another one. This one is for you, I think. Can we connect Zoom rooms to other collaboration vendors? Oh, okay, uh, yes, yes. There is, a, we have the conference room connector. And you know, for all, all organizations that have, for example, existing uh, infrastructure and they don't want to immediately uh, invest in getting new uh, hardware, we have the conference room connectors, which is a great uh, uh, software to help us, to help the customer basically get into the Zoom platform and start being able to connect. However, I do want to say in this case that uh, if the customer wants, in this case, to enjoy the full spectrum of all the capabilities of the Zoom Rooms uh, software, then eventually they would need to transition into 
the proper uh, hardware that can support the uh, the Zoom Room uh, software capabilities. Okay, and and also from the Zoom Room capabilities, you'll be able to connect from a Teams meetings, from a yes. WebEx meetings, and Blue Jeans yes. meetings. So you know, if you stay into the uh, into the, the the ecosystem of Zoom Room, then you, you're gonna you are able to you know to fulfill all your meetings needs from any platform. Absolutely, and it's a Absolutely. big big advantage, right? And um, so we have a. a, a Another one, can, can I use Zoom Room from a specific user and not a group? Okay, so I think that would refer maybe to a home user or, or an executive, maybe. Zoom Room has a Zoom Room that, uh, that, that you describe, but there is also a personal Zoom Room, okay? So with your own, uh, with your, with, with your own license, with the, with your own individual uh, person, you can have a personal Zoom room. We'll give which give you basically, uh, you know, a lot of the uh, of the feature, every feature of Zoom room, but it won't connect to the organizational, to the calendar of your organization. So that that would be specifically for you. Okay, that's another one, which is. Very good one, actually. It's uh, it's about how can I use Zoom Room for audio conference calls? Okay, so maybe we how to answer this one. The uh, uh, I think the uh, the this world of video conferencing in meeting rooms have changed dramatically in the last several years. You know, and I've and I've been for years in this industry. We used to say that any conference room is uh, you know you had. You had a lot of equipment in the room, a lot of AV equipment, audio, video. For, for phone calls, you had a, a star in, in the middle yes. of the room and you know you have to dial in and everything. So, and that's, very, that's quite cumbersome. Today with Zoom Room, you have everything, including a conference call. You can dial in directly from the Zoom Room interface, okay? And um, so really that, uh, that makes it, and also it's connect to Zoom phone, right? It's right. So... Yes, 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 absolutely. <laughs> Everything, the integration, the interoperability between the different modes within the Zoom platform is unique. It's incredibly easy to move from one uh, uh, mode to the other. Yeah. Okay. Um... I think that um, um, we have a, another question. Do we need our college therapy tools that probably have? Um, so Eviatar is asking about uh, art therapy special tools. And, um, you know, I've seen a lot of, um, of therapy and, uh, and a lot of very new application working with Zoom. So we'll be glad to help Eviatar contact us uh, separately and we will uh, we will we will try to help with your with your questions um, that's it so stratos and all the team i would like to thank you very much for joining us at this webinar it's always a pleasure to you know to discuss new features and and the, how zoom is evolving and um, we will send you this uh, recording of this webinar in um, in the um, very soon, including the video of Zoom Room. Yes. And uh, stay tuned for the next webinar next month. Perfect. Thank you very much, Oliver, for having me today here. Thank you. Thank you.